So after you've installed the NuGet server for Sitecore package on Sitecore using the installation package wizard, uh, you'll have to make a couple of changes to web config in order to get the NuGet server running on IIS. After you have that done, you have to go into Visual Studio and make some changes there so that Visual Studio knows that a new NuGet package source is available. So to do that, I'm going to go into Tools, Options, and under the NuGet Package Manager section, Package Sources, I'm going to add a new package source. Just move this up to be the first package source. Call this my local Sitecore server. <clears throat> and then my Sitecore server name slash NuGet. Save my changes. Now I'm going to just create a new project so we can see how we can use that new NuGet server to add references to a project. So I'll just call this test project one. Now if I want to add a reference, go to my project, manage NuGet packages, and now you'll see that local Sitecore server is the default NuGet package source, and I will see a list of the NuGet packages that are available on my Sitecore server. And these are the three that come with the NuGet server for Sitecore by default. You can add additional packages through the config file. Um, but in here, you can see um, the analytics package has a dependency on Sitecore.core. So if you add this package, it's also going to add Sitecore.core, uh, which has a dependency on the Newtonsoft package. <clears throat> So if I go in and install this, references are added. And if I go into my references, I can see that I have Sitecore Analytics, Sitecore Analytics Model, Sitecore Kernel, and Newtonsoft. And now I'm ready to do my Sitecore development.